Alright then gang, so now Vue have released a new version of the CLI version 3 and that comes with some improvements and many new features. So first of all, what we'll do is a rundown of the most noticeable new features, then we'll dive in and take a look at each one in more detail. So the first noticeable difference in using the Vue CLI 3 is how we actually create a project. So with the old CLI, this is how we do it. We'd say Vue init, then we choose a template, for example, Webpack Simple, then we'd give our app a name. And this would lock us into this template right here. Now the old CLI offered four pre-made templates, each one with its own Webpack configuration. And this was one of them right here. But the new CLI allows us to customize our setup with a bit more flexibility to choose exactly the features we need. And the way we create an application now using the Vue CLI is by saying view, create, and then the application name. So no longer do we say the template, we don't use templates anymore. Instead, when we create this, we're gonna get thrown up two different options. We can either use a default preset, which comes with a couple of features, ESLint and Babel, or we can create our own custom preset and add extra features to our Vue application setup. For example, Vuex, the Vue router, progressive web app support, etc. Now, once we've created our project, Vue still abstracts the Webpack configuration file away from us, and by that I mean it hides it, but it doesn't lock us into a pre-made template like before. We can make edits and tweaks to the Webpack config through a view.config.js file, and we can also edit the config indirectly with the use of plugins. We can add these anytime in the future. So this use of plugins now allows us to easily edit the configuration of our project at any point during development without having to manually go into the Webpack file and configure things ourselves, and that's pretty awesome. So this new plugin approach easily allows us to extend the functionality of our project setup at any point. For example, if we wanted to add a Vuetify to our project, we could easily add the Vuetify plugin to do that. Now, plugins are pretty much like dependencies, but they can also edit our Webpack config file and source files too. And they can also add extra commands to the CLI. And we're gonna see all of this later on when we talk more about plugins. Another cool feature that comes with the new CLI is something called instant prototyping. And instant prototyping basically allows us to instantly or rapidly prototype a single standalone component. So say for example, I've got an idea for a new component and I want to independently test that out. I could use instant prototyping to do that very quickly without having to set up a whole project to do that. And we'll take a look at doing this ourselves later on. And finally, the new CLI comes shipped with a nice graphical user interface or GUI, which makes it really simple to create new projects, manage plugins, dependencies, and project options. So then in this chapter, I'll be walking you through each one of these new features in the new CLI. So first up, let's see how to install the new CLI and create a new project with it. 